Hollywood. Too cool. It's the Tom Likas Show. That was awesome. And now. And now. Here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Here we are together again on the radio. Good to be here, too. You may have read the tragic story over the holidays. John Travolta and Kelly Preston, their 16-year-old son, Jet, was found dead. Autopsy was performed. And I believe that the Travoltas have returned to the United States, to Florida, with the ashes of their son. They are devastated. And uh, an awful lot of people... Uh, Sending them good wishes. John Travolta has always been one of the most well-liked people in Hollywood. John Travolta has also, uh, I think, one of the people who's been uh, most well-liked by the public over a long period of time. You know, uh, coincidentally, just for giggles, uh, over the holidays, when I was sitting in front of a big LCD screen for long periods of time, I actually found an HD version of Saturday Night Fever. And I haven't seen Saturday Night Fever since I was a kid. I, I just haven't seen it. And so I uh, I uh, recorded it on the DVR, and I watched it in HD. And it was, you know, amazing to see it in HD, for one thing. But, uh, um, you know, that movie is 31 years old. <laughs> That's an old movie. And literally, I had watched Saturday Night Fever... The night before I heard this story about uh, Jet Travolta. And now there is um, all kinds of commentary about uh, this death. I read to you now from the Guardian newspaper, which is, uh, of course, a British newspaper. This is uh, from someone named Patrick Barkham. And it's uh, from tomorrow's edition of The Guardian. It says here, A Hollywood celebrity, a teenage death in a bathroom, and the Church of Scientology is a toxic brew for gossip mongers, and sure enough, the death of John Travolta's 16-year-old son, Jet, has triggered an orgy of Internet chatter. Some of the speculation is being driven in an organized way by critics of the Church of Scientology. It says here, according to the Travolta family, Jet suffered from regular seizures around one a week and had been diagnosed with Kawasaki Syndrome, a rare childhood condition with some life-threatening symptoms, but rarely fatal. Details of Jet's death in the bathroom of Travolta's holiday home in Barbados after a reported seizure are sketchy. The postmortem results will almost certainly be kept private by Travolta and his wife, Kelly Preston. For members of Anonymous, an online group of anti-Scientology activists, Jet's death is an opportunity to repeat old allegations against Travolta and Scientology that Jeff suffered a form of autism, but Travolta and Preston, who are Scientologists, were in denial about it because it is claimed that Scientology argues that autism is psychosomatic and must not be managed with mainstream medication or psychiatry. It is alleged online that Travolta and Scientology may have somehow prevented the treatment of Jet's condition and put him through, quote, detox program created by Scientology founder L. Ron Hubbard. But in interviews, Preston has described the detox as being only 90% organic, apart from a little bit of junk food. Travolta's lawyers, Michael Osi and Michael McDermott, told the celebrity website TMZ.com that Jet took an anti-seizure drug called Depakote, and it was only stopped on medical advice. The British branch of Scientology did not respond to questions about its position on autism. 
A spokesman said Scientologists use medical drugs when physically ill and also rely on the advice and treatment of medical doctors. The online speculation comes at a convenient moment for the anti-Scientology campaign with worldwide protests planned this Saturday, but there may be a backlash if it is seen to be exploiting a private tragedy. And so now that brings us to some of the other things that are going on uh, regarding this death. Lisa Marie Presley, in a message on her MySpace blog entitled, Now is Not the Time says, quote, her heart is crying and bleeding for the Travoltas after suffering such a loss to their family. She also encourages people not to use the tragedy as an opportunity to attack Scientology. And then uh, they give you some uh, portions from Lisa's blog entry here. This is on Entertainment Tonight's website. She said, I wish I could be writing you under happier circumstances, but I cannot. Because two of my very good friends, John and Kelly Travolta, the sweetest people in the world, have just encountered the worst possible tragedy. A parent could be forced to endure the death of their son, Jet. My heart is crying and bleeding for them. I personally would not have it in me to bury my own child. I am writing this because I have noticed that for the most part, people in the media have been very sympathetic and respectful. But there are those certain ones that want to use this horrible tragedy as an opportunity to once again blame and or attack Scientology. Folks, as popular as it has been, as it has been to discriminate and ridicule Scientology and Scientologists, she has apostrophe S for Scientologists, in the recent past, now, capital N, now is not the time. Says here, Lisa goes on to write, just like anyone else, if one is sick, they go to the doctor. Capital I and if one is sick. Capital I, if a medication will make it better, then they take it. Period. If they don't, no comma, then they are an idiot and you can't blame their religion. Whatever medical and or physical condition Jet had, I can tell you firsthand that his parents were on a tireless, never-ending quest. Never-ending, two separate words. Uh, to... Uh, Get and provide him with the absolute best care anyone could ever ask for and need. Period. Medically, physically, emotionally, medicinally, and spiritually. That's not a complete sentence. Okay. Sorry. It's just that when people uh, are being quoted in public, they certainly should have that same grammar standard applied, don't you think? Now we see Tom Cruise has comments. And here's what Tom Cruise has to say here. At Tom Cruise, it says, here said Scientology teachings helped him overcome childhood dyslexia, the Spanish magazine reported. Cruise was quoted by Spanish magazine XL Seminal as saying he was diagnosed with a learning disability when he was seven years old. Cruise said he was often anxious, frustrated, and bored as a youth and couldn't concentrate in class, the magazine reported on its website Sunday. Now, just an opinion protected by the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. If you saw Tom Cruise's appearance that time on Oprah, would you say he's been cured of that? That's a question. I'll leave it to you to answer. It's a litigious society. The magazine quoted Cruz as saying he was functionally illiterate when he graduated from school in 1980, but learned to read perfectly as an adult through Scientology technology. XL Seminal said the interview was conducted in Los Angeles, but did not say when. And it says here a transcript of Cruz's original comments in English was not available. Okay, so you're going to be seeing a lot of this. Now, uh, the question here, and uh, personally, I think the, uh, this first of all, the, the death of Jet Travolta happened in Barbados. So is it really anybody's business? I'm going to be honest with you. I like John Travolta, and I, I wouldn't wish the death of a child on anybody. When I said Barbados in the blog here, Dean, is it the Bahamas? Can we, uh, let's nail that down, as Frank Reynolds once said. Where did this happen? 
The blog said Barbados. My point is, not in the United States of America. It did not happen in this country. Uh, so I'm just going to say that, uh, you know, this is between the Travoltas and the authorities in that country. <laughs> That's it. And uh, whatever did or didn't happen, it's really none of our business. And on top of that, you know, the but much as I have problems with the Church of Scientology, and I do, primarily for their penchant for suing anybody who appears to disagree with them, um, it is my opinion that there are many religions, many religions that have uh, opinions, strong opinions about uh, your health and what you ought to do. And in some cases, I disagree. All right, it was the Bahamas. Thank you. So the blogster was wrong here. Yes, blogster. I said blogster. I did it on purpose, you moron. Um. I mean, the fact is that uh, in this particular case, it would be hard for me to single out Scientology as being any worse uh, than people who believe in the Old Testament and they say you shouldn't eat pork or shrimp. People who say you shouldn't eat a cheeseburger because it's unsanitary. <laughs> people who say you shouldn't eat, uh, you know, <laughs> scallops. I I personally think that's that's funny. But well, you know, because Judaism is such an old religion, we just accept the idea uh, that there are people who believe that. I, I, the fact that Hindus believe you shouldn't eat cows, yet they have McDonald's all over <laughs> all over India. You shouldn't eat cows. Why not? Well, that's their opinion. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, no blood transfusions. Right? And uh, we accept all of this. We accept all of this. You can criticize the Church of Scientology for a number of reasons. But having their own take on health is not unique to Scientology. And so I think people who jump all over uh, John Travolta and Kelly Preston and start uh, blaming Scientology for this, they're really scratching. They're really scratching. And so uh, I... Um, Though I do not stand up for Scientology, because I'm an atheist and I don't stand up for any religion, I don't see the Church of Scientology's beliefs about health, mental health, physical health, or whatever, to be any loonier than the beliefs of other religious groups that say you shouldn't drink caffeine. Churches that, uh, at the same time, own stock in the Pepsi-Cola Corporation and serve Pepsi at Marriott Hotels. <laughs> I mean, why, why is what the Church of Scientology believes any more egregious than what these other groups believe? And that's what freedom of religion is, folks. It's the freedom for people to have loony ideas that people like me will, will just say, tisk tisk, ha <laughs> ha, they're crazy. By the way, for all you Orthodox Jews out there and you Jews for Jesus, I had a pulled pork sandwich over the holidays that would knock you out. With this amazing smoky barbecue sauce, it was just killer. You just don't know what you're missing. I just wanted to tell you about that. I know you lust after pork. I know you have dreams about it. I want to tell you it's as good as advertised. It's exactly as good as we tell you it is. Trust me. So does anybody have an opinion about this? I mean, uh, it's an outrageously tragic story. And again, my sympathies uh, to John Travolta and Kelly Preston. What an awful thing to happen. Awful. Awful. Okay? Awful. And as much as I think the uh, Church of Scientology is heavy-handed and litigious, and can you imagine if the Bible were copyrighted and any time somebody quoted the Bible, they got sued? <laughs> <laughs> preposterous. But the point is, to me, as an atheist, all religions are preposterous. They're all equal in my eyes. I think all Scientology does for people who hate it, all it does is it is a way to prove how ridiculous all the other religions are because it has beliefs like any other religion. And why are the beliefs of the Church of Scientology any more ridiculous than the idea at one time that you shouldn't eat meat on Friday? You tell me. Tom Likes. Like 1 800 
1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. And it's the Tom Likas Show. Short of commercial breaks than ever. You may have noticed that break is mind-achingly short. You try to be at me. I had to relieve myself here on the floor. No time to run down the hall of the bathroom. Just the way it is. You leave us during commercial break, you may not get back in time. That's just the way it is now. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. And in this uh, segment, uh, I made some comments about Scientology, and you may be surprised because you may expect me to just rip Scientology. Uh, um, I'm an atheist. I think all religions are preposterous, and I don't think Scientology is any more preposterous than any of the others. I just don't. What do you think? Tara, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I had a comment about Scientology, as you were just talking about right now. Um, I have been raised to be a Christian, um... I mean, for, you know, my whole childhood. And as I've, as I've been getting older, I've been forming, forming my own opinion. And um, I decided that all religions are completely ridiculous. And my dad heard about this, and he called me, and we got in a debate for like an hour, and he ended up hanging up on me. The next day, he called me, and he said, because uh, I live in Hollywood, he said, Tara, um, since you're living in Hollywood, uh, you're not into Scientology, are you? I said, you know what? No, I'm not into Scientology, but what does it matter what religion I am? Does that make me any different, you know, any different than you believing in Christianity, you know, believing in such ridiculous beliefs, and um, I just think that it's completely ridiculous because, I mean, all religion is so stupid, and I don't know, I just had, had to comment about that because it was funny how my dad just hung up on me, his own daughter, because he didn't want to hear my opinions. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. people get very angry about Scientology, but, yeah. you know, I'd be just as upset if someone told me they were a Mormon, uh, or yeah. someone told me they were... Uh, uh, you know, they believed in a religion that said, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> no lobster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I said, Dad, no, you know lobster. Just... <laughs> no lobster. Yeah. No lobster. No Dungeness crab. Are you insane? Lobster is amazing. <laughs> You're, yes, of course it is. By the way, those of you who are anti shellfish, I just want to say that a trip to Puerto Vallarta to La Palapa. Uh -huh. You go there and you have a charcoal grilled lobster. They split it down the center and they grill it open faced. And then they have, instead of just drawn butter, they have drawn garlic butter. And you dip those charcoal grilled pieces of lobster meat in the drawn lobster uh, uh, garlic butter. Oh my God. Yeah. That's as good as life it, gets. It, it, it's, it, it's, it's ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. And, um, I, I was even watching Oprah today and they were saying that shellfish and scallops can be some of the best, best food for you because of all the vitamins and stuff it has in it for you. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yes. I mean, what, personally, I don't care what religion you are. What are you doing yeah. giving out health advice for? Yeah, exactly. Please. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tara. Thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Sean on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? I'm doing great. Well, I just want to comment on Scientology. Is that I knew someone who was a Scientologist who had a daughter who had cerebral palsy. The reason she had it was because of the first method they have to do. If she would have had a C-section, section, the baby would have been fine. But anyway... She was born with cerebral palsy. Now, the own direction of the church, basically they were told not to give medication, which she desperately needed. And basically when, they, when the father found out, because they were divorced, he called child services. That she was malnutrition. She was locked in the closet when child services got there. And this was all under the direction of the Scientology church. Well, let me ask you this question, Sean. Is that any more ridiculous than, for example, I I don't believe alcoholism is a disease. Well, neither do I. 
Well, but guess what? Uh, the American Psychiatric Association disagrees with you. So does yeah, the American I, I, Psychological I, I, Association. I'm, 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 sorry about that. I'm an ex-drug addict, and I honestly feel that what I had was my choice. It's not a disease. It's the choices I made. I didn't have a disease when I was, you know, doing cocaine. I was choosing to do it. Well, there you go. So, I mean, again... Sure. Uh, you know, people like to single out the Church of Scientology, and certainly uh, there are things I disagree with them about. But uh, are they really any weirder than other religions? Well, you know what? You're right about that. They, they have their own weird beliefs, you know, just like you know any other religion has. And it's just, from what I've seen, and what I've, especially that story, that's been hurting people. I mean, eating pork doesn't kill anyone. I mean, slocking someone who needs help in a closet, that's hurting someone. Sean, uh, again, these are allegations, and I don't know which ones are true or which ones aren't. I don't know. But I'm sure if someone committed a crime, they'll be prosecuted for it. That's the bottom line. That goes for any religion, whether it be an American Indian smoking peyote or what it is. It's the way it is. 1-800-5800-TOB. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Joey on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm Okay. Hey, I agree with that last call, and I, I disagree with you. Uh, I'm I'm Jewish. I don't eat uh, pork, but and that may seem strange to you, and that's fine. But it certainly doesn't hurt anyone. But some well, of sure it does. How like, about what about pork producers? It, well, I mean, give me a break. It, there's more well, pulled pork for you. There's more pulled pork for you. That's good. It, Okay, and that's fine, but when it's um, so Scientology, good. Let, Tom, let me finish. Scientology, <laughs> or for that matter, Church of, Sci uh, Church of Christ Scientists, some of their beliefs are actually, they actually hurt people. There was a case last year where a lady didn't give her daughter insulin. She prayed over her, and the, the girl died of a diabetic coma. Well, this happens with Jehovah's Witnesses, mom. too. Pardon me? This happens with Jehovah's Witnesses, too. I have an issue with that. What I'm saying is that there are differences. Some of these religions... Well, then, then, but, then you want to... Well, you, you're opposed to freedom of religion. No, Tom. I'm saying that you're lumping them all together, and what I'm saying is some of them... That I think they're strange. all preposterous. Tom, let, Tom, let me finish. Don't this tell thing. me how to do a show, for Christ's okay. sake. All right, I'm asking you, I'm please, the professional. You're an amateur. That's why you're at home calling in, and I'm doing the show. Okay, then may I ask to finish a sentence, please? You can what ask, but is, I might not let you. Okay, fair enough. What I'm saying is uh, Hindus not eating cows or Jews not eating lobster, that's strange, but it doesn't harm anyone. But some of these religions, like Scientology or Church of Sci or Christ Scientists, have some beliefs that... Well, I, and then uh, what about this whole concept of heaven and hell? You know, uh, somebody who uh, dies because they didn't get insulin or didn't get a blood transfusion, uh, they go into the great beyond. They're populating other planets with saints, and they're going to heaven, and God wants them back, and God's got a plan. All these people who come up with all these excuses for why people die at five years old or why people die from lava overflowing and uh, flooding a town of, uh, of uh, devout Catholics. I mean, and then people come up with a million excuses. You know, as far as I'm concerned, if you believe in an afterlife, I say you want to get there as quickly as possible. Uh, I don't know what, what an afterlife has to do with it. I'm just I'm telling you what it is. If, 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 if the afterlife is, do people. you believe in an afterlife? Some of these beliefs are harmful. Do you to believe other in people, an afterlife? Some of them, Do and you? Some of them like pigs. All right, you don't want to answer me. That's fine. 1 800 5 800 Tom. It's Morgan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's up? Not much. Hey, I just want to say that I think that out of all religions in the world, Mormonism and Scientology have to be the most ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> How could you say that one religion is more ridiculous than another? Well, because I, I think that being a Protestant isn't as ridiculous as being a Scientologist. That's because you're a Protestant. I'm not a Protestant. What are you? I'm uh, undecided right now. You're I'm undecided. Still I'm still young and I'm searching. I see. What, are, you, what that, are your parents? The Bible, so your parents are Protestant. Yeah. That's, right, so that's why so, you don't think it's ridiculous. Because so you grew up so, around it. The Bible has archaeology to back it up. Scientology. No, has no, it no, really no doesn't. Scientific. There is no proof that God ever existed. Any. But the, the, the events all. that happened in the Bible can be proved, like the walls of Jericho falling down. Really? I, they, I'd like to see Noah's Ark, please. I, it's probably covered. I mean, Marco Polo wrote about seeing Mark, uh, Noah's Ark as he was writing, uh, as he was traveling. Many through, uh, people Turkey. write about seeing UFOs. I want to see the proof, please. It's probably buried underneath the ice of a. Uh, well, when Mount you Air. find it, get back to me. Right now, there is no proof. 
All right. Hey, Tom, can you take me out to Bill O'Reilly? Yeah, Bill O'Reilly style. I can. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. F it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. And thing sucks. Tom like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. The Tom like it show. The Tom like it show now six days a week on 97 1 FM Talk in Los Angeles. Monday through Friday from 3 until 8 as you head home. Saturdays 2 to 6 p.m. Here is on 97.1 FM Talk and BlowMeUpTom.com. Worldwide. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. We're talking about the tragic death of one Jet Travolta, the son of John Travolta and Kelly Preston. And uh, the people now who are using this as an... Uh, as, as a way of attacking Scientology. I'm no supporter of Scientology or any religion, but by the same token, I don't see Scientology as being one iota more ridiculous than the other religions that are out there. Crystal on the Tom Like is show hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Great. I just wanted to make a comment for the people that were calling in um, just with negative Scientology remarks. I mean, people are... I feel free to believe whatever they want to believe in. But I've been a Scientologist my entire life, and I have never, it's completely ridiculous. I've never heard or read anything in any books that says you can't take medication. And if people aren't taking medication, that's their personal choice. But it has absolutely nothing to do with the religion. So it's, it's just completely ridiculous. Well, I, and it doesn't even matter to me. I couldn't care less. The only time I care what you believe is two times. One is if I'm going to do business with you. And two is <laughs> if I'm going to have a relationship with you. Oh, I totally understand that. But I don't, you know, I believe we've got freedom of religion in this country. It's one of the, 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 the uh, building blocks upon which this country is built. And no matter whether I think what you believe is sane and rational or stupid and, and weird, that's the law of the land. That's I it. I totally agree with that. However, people should make, if they're going to make comments, they should make educated comments based off of fact other than just, you know, fictitious things that they want to make up themselves. Because that's just, I mean, that's ridiculous. Well, so, I... saying things that are ridiculous... I totally agree with you. People are free to believe whatever they want, even things that are ridiculous. But if you're going to make open statements or talk about things, you should at least be educated about them. Well, I, I, again, uh, people certainly don't apply that to politics or the news or anything else people are opinionated about. <laughs> I agree with you. People are idiots. So, uh, you know, I, I, I certainly don't people expect people to be any more educated. Uh, about uh, any one religion than they are about anything else. Well, I guess you're right about that. Thank you so much for the call. I appreciate it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. This is Jacob on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Yes, who are the man? Why? Thank you. I got turned on to you, man, from uh, my coworkers about two months ago, and you changed my life, man. It's crazy. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Well, I wanted to comment on this, um, just like the uh, the caller a couple uh, before this lady that grew up in a you know cr Christian school and and their parents tried to inundate them with their type of religion, which uh, pretty much any parent does. Um, it, it, it's it's crazy. I mean, kids are so susceptible to what their parents do and uh, the type of religion or their job they do that they're inundated from birth. And they automatically think that this is what, you know, they're supposed to do and this is what they're supposed to believe. And very few people break out of that shell and, and like yourself, uh, see the BS behind all these different things. Yes. Well, my mother uh, was a Catholic and tried to raise me Catholic. I never believed any of that stuff, ever. Not for five minutes. Even when you're even when you're a kid, you didn't uh, you no. know, believe into that. I didn't know what an atheist was. I didn't know there was a word for how I felt. I just knew that I didn't believe any of this mumbo jumbo. Exactly. You don't need a word to describe that. Uh, you know, all the BS out there is what it is, or oh, your type of 
thought on everything else. Um, so, I mean, you could consider yourself not an atheist. You just don't believe all this mumbo-jumbo out there about all these people, you know, you have to follow this. Now, in most cases, every religion has is extremist, you know, Muslim, Buddhist, yet people blowing themselves up. But it doesn't mean that they're all like that, though. That's absolutely true. Uh, no. But by the same token, I, I, I don't care what other people believe unless I'm having a personal connection with them somehow. For example, uh, anybody who has a fish symbol in their ad of the Yellow Pages, I'm not doing business with them. <laughs> and I totally agree. Uh, and not because of what they believe, but because they feel they need to shove it down my throat. Exactly. I mean, if people can't keep business and uh, um, politics and religion separately, then all, you know, everything would break loose into the craziness. And everybody's thinking that... Our whole United States is based on in God we trust and Christianity. That's just uh, another. Uh, well, that's that's thing. that's also ridiculous as well. And thank you for the call. I appreciate it, Jacob. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That is our telephone number. Let's say hi here to Casey on the Tom Likas show. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, Hi. You know, when I was when I was a kid, uh, my dad told me never to get into a conversation about religion or politics. But uh, it's hard to stay out of them these days. Does he think? Is that what you called to say? No. Uh, what I called to say <laughs> is um, I'm sick of hearing a you know little girl call in a couple minutes ago and say religion is so stupid, Tom. I hate religion. Religion is so. stupid. Stupid, and uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna call in with an opinion like that, you might as well uh, have a reason to be so opinionated. Well, I again, as I say, I personally, as an atheist, I think all religions are basically fairy tales. Uh, they're like I, Aesop's I agree, fables. But I think it is just as stupid and ridiculous to. Uh, to blindly hate religion as it is to blindly believe in religion. Well, it's not a matter of blindly hating it. I, I, I wouldn't waste my energy hating religion. But there are uh, people out there who do. There, there, there are. There are people that are calling in that hate religion just for the sake of hating religion. Because they certainly didn't have any any uh, facts to base their opinions on. And the it's only time I have so a problem, I by the way, I, it's not religion I blame. I blame the morons who believe in it. Is when people try to apply their religious beliefs uh, to my laws, uh, to my uh, personal enjoyment of my life. Exactly. Otherwise, exactly. do whatever the hell you want. I couldn't care less. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-8666. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Sure is shooting. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. We are blazing through phone calls now. We take the calls faster. We take more calls. Better chance for you to get on the air. Watch me do it. I'm going to do it right now. It all started with this conversation about Scientology and specifically the death of Jet Travolta, the 16-year-old son of John Travolta and Kelly Preston. Some people are using this death as an opportunity to attack Scientology, and I say, why would anyone think Scientology is any more outrageous than some of these other religions? Luke on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Uh, yeah, hi, Tom. Hi. I just got a, a couple questions. One, I wanted to know, um, I, don't you believe that being an atheist is a religion in its own sense that has no. to do with not believing in religion? No, because it, there's no dogma. Well, there's a lot of talk about it. We're talking about it right now. There is no... Did you hear what I said? Stop doing what you're doing. Are you listening to me? Yes. There is no dogma in atheism. And then how come you never... Did you hear what I said? I want a response to that before you go to the next question. That's the reason. Because there's no dogma. Do you know what dogma is? You probably don't, do you? Well, dogma... There's a, there's a religion has to do with talking about religion and God, and that's atheism. No, that's not what dogma is. Not uh, doing anything with God. You don't and know what... No, that you do not know what dogma is. I don't know what dogma is. I know All right, well, so you're an idiot. There's no point having this conversation with you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Jason on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, pleasure to be on. I'm sure. I think it really is. Um, 
think it's uh, pretty sad that these um, organizers want to use this, uh, the death of the Travolta son, as a platform to attack a religion that really probably won't sway one single person from that religion. Well, having said that, what I've said... I want you to understand that uh, I do think that religion uh, is open to criticism. And in fact, I go a step further. I don't care what religion you belong to. Um, I don't believe that people of a certain religion, of any particular religion, should be protected under the law. In other words, you should have freedom of religion, but employers, landlords, and others should have the right to discriminate because religion is a lifestyle choice. It is not something you're born with. Sure, I agree with you. In fact... Uh, I'm a Christian, and I'm also a contractor. I will not do work for someone who tells me they're a Christian. You know, I if I think that you're going to be having exorcisms at your apartment, or you're going to be uh, <laughs> slitting the uh, slitting the throats of chickens and uh, and what have you, I, maybe I don't want you living in my place. I agree with that. We rented out. <laughs> at any rate, I just think it's sad that, uh, you know, I, I believe that the Travoltas are due a, a little respect and privacy and... Uh, well, you know, I, I don't believe I don't believe that anybody is due uh, privacy in the public sector, in the public uh, when they're in the public eye. I think uh, that uh, you've asked for it for all those years. You're going to get attention. Having said that, um, I don't believe personally in singling out this particular situation simply because I don't think the beliefs of Scientology are that much more ridiculous than the beliefs of other religions that are accepted by the majority of people. No, in fact, uh, I totally agree with you on that. the The context of the the blame is um, it's it's horrendous to think that the the Church of Scientology could have anything to do with uh, promoting this death, or you know, not promoting it, but uh, being the cause of it in any way. You know, everyone makes their own decision. Everyone's aware of that, whether they choose not to believe in anything or to follow through with what they're told to do in their church or their religion. Well, uh, for example, uh, the Church of Scientology, according to Tom Cruise, bearing on television, uh, doesn't believe in psychiatry. I do. I understand. That. Are you a Scientologist? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Well, that that's one of the things that Tom Cruise claimed and was attacking, uh, if I recall correctly, Brooke Shields because she said she had postpartum depression. And he went on television and started attacking Brooke Shields for saying she had postpartum depression. Now, um, now that's why I remember it, and certainly I'm sure a representative of Tom Cruise will correct me if I'm wrong. But the, but the bottom line here is uh, he has a right to believe that, and Brooke Shields has a right to think that he's an a-hole for saying it, and uh, that's that. That's that's America. God bless America. Okay, I. But 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 here's the deal. It's like. Hey, so if you don't believe in psychiatrists and your kid appears to be a sick, twisted individual and you refuse to take him to a psychiatrist, well, you know, whatever outcome happens, you had the kid, uh, you have freedom to raise your child as you see fit in this country. That's the way it is. That's that. All right. And the people that are going to attack uh, let's Scientology or I any of them, uh, you know, that open mouth is another right as well. That they're, it's kind of hip it's a little bit of hip hypocrisy to, to want to be able to say freely how you feel about a religion, but then expect them not to be practice their religion freely. All right, thank you for that. Matt on the Tom Like His Show as we blaze through the calls here. Hello. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Doing uh, okay. I I'm a Christian, but I, I agree with you. I mean, what right does anybody really have to attack anybody? Whatever? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. You have the right to attack. Oh, well, yeah, you but, do have but, the right to attack. But I, just... I think you're foolish if you think any one religion is any more ridiculous than any other. Oh, and I agree with you. I mean, I, I, I take this step back all the time. I have friends who are whatever religion, and they'll go and attack another religion, and I'm just like, you know what? Take a step back out of your own core beliefs, whatever you were raised on. I mean, that's how that's how you make progress in the world. You take a step back out of whatever you have believed, and you open yourself up to change. I mean, you don't have to change to become that, but you take a look, and you... I mean, that's how you go... That's how you get along with people in your life. Everybody has different beliefs. I mean, you got to take a step back well, and look at it. Yeah, and everybody does have different beliefs, uh, okay. even within religions. There are yeah, people I mean, who don't accept uh, the interpretations of Scripture. Uh, look how many different kinds of Protestants there are. For God's oh, sake, cool. there, there, there's lots of them. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's James on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 
Hey, Tom, how's it going? It's going great. Hey, yeah, uh, one thing I wanted to say, um, I, I do agree with you that all religions are fundamentally ridiculous. Um, the only problem that I have more so with Scientology than the rest of them is um, with your ancient religions, most of the political changes and those kind of things, the, the using religion as a tool has happened in ancient times. Uh, the problem with Scientology, um, it was used in the, I believe it was the 40s or the 50s. Um, L. Ron Hubbard wanted to get tax-exempt status, so he made a religion. You think that? You, it, I don't even know if that's true, but do you think he would be the first person to have done that? Oh, absolutely not. And that's that's what I'm saying. Is I, can I, mean, I and religions were created for a lot of bizarre reasons. Uh, I think some religions were created to uh, keep poor people quiet. I think some religions were created so you could create this bizarre form of family royalty. Uh, ever look into the Medici family and the Roman Catholic Church in the 15th century? Uh, there were there were all these different popes. Oh, absolutely. And many of them were in the same family. And I, I totally agree with you. It's a look at uh, Christianity has been used as a tool to uh, help indoctrinate new societies as, as it's conquered to keep people kind of on the same level. The so only, so I, the I just only, don't see Scientology as being any more outrageous than some of the others. Well, the, the, the point I'm trying to make is I can, I can somewhat understand the ignorance because, okay, all these changes with your ancient religions happened hundreds, thousands of years ago, whereas Scientology, it, it happened a generation ago. Yeah, well, and well like, uh, look at the Mormon Church, was up, uh, founded in upstate New York. Right. And, right. and Mormons it, have some bizarre belief uh, uh, about Kansas City, Missouri. Something's going to happen in Kansas City, Missouri in the future. I mean,. <laughs> I don't see why what they believe is any less outrageous or any more outrageous than the Scientologists. I just don't. Anyway, our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Also, go to our website to hear live streams of the program anytime you like. Just go to Tom at BlowMeUpTom. No, I'm sorry. Go to BlowMeUpTom.com. Click on the Listen Live button and... You'll be listening live. It's the Tom Likas Show.